Hi guys, welcome back to 47th part of the Arduino tutorials and the last video on the encoder series. Before watching this video, make sure you have a look on previous encoder related tutorials. I'll leave the links in the description box. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the encoder to measure the speed or RPM of the motor. In my case, I'm going with separate motor and the encoder. So even if you have the motor that already comes with the encoder mounted, still this video is applicable. The components required for this tutorial are Arduino board, rotary encoder module, a DC motor, or a DC motor with mounted encoder some jumper wires additionally I have made a small setup like this just to mount the motor and the encoder so that the encoder shaft continuously rotates with the motor coming to the connections the ground and the positive pin of the encoder goes to Arduino ground and 5 volts. The DT pin or the A phase of the encoder goes to digital pin 2. And I'll be using this 6 and 12 volt power supply for the motor. Moving to the code, first I'll show you the formula used for calculating the RPM. So it says total encoder pulse in one second. If we divide with the encoder PPR, we'll get the revolutions in one second. And to get revolutions in minute, we have to multiply it by 60. So in our logic as well, for every one second, we have to keep counting the pulses generated from the encoder. So this will be our numerator value and encoder PPR can be found in the data sheet. So this indicates the number of pulses your encoder produces in one revolution. In the code declaration section, I have defined a macro which is the PPR value of the encoder. So in my case, it's 23. You can update it based on your encoder specifications. And the DT pin of the encoder is connected to pin 2. And also we have the interval, which is defined as 1000 milliseconds, which is 1 second. Coming to the setup function, we are initializing the serial port with this baud rate. And next we have an interrupt function. So here I'll just give what this function does in this particular code. And in my coming days, I'll do separate videos on this concept. So once our Arduino detects a signal on digital pin 2 where the encoder is connected, it just calls this function, which is called interrupt service routine. Inside this function, we are simply incrementing the counter. So this counter according to the formula we'll be using as the number of pulses counted in one second. Coming to the loop, we have the millis function, which is used to calculate the time elapsed. So in the if statement, we are checking if the time elapsed is 1000 millisecond or one second. So every one second, we are using the counted pulses into 60 by encoder PPR as I've explained in the formula before. So this gives the RPM of the motor. So this RPM, we are printing it on the serial monitor. After this calculation, we are resetting this encoder count value and this variable will be used to count the pulses for the next interval. So that's it the code. 
I'll upload this. We'll see the result. I'll open the serial monitor. Now the power supply is off and we are getting zero RPM. So once I switch on, it's showing around 600 RPM. And I have kept my power supply at 12 volts. This motor is of 500 RPM. So we are getting approximate value. If I reduce the supply to 6 volts, so almost the RPM is also getting reduced to half. For better results, you can go with the motors mounted with encoder or good precision encoders with high PPR value. So this is how you can use encoders to measure the speed of the motor. And the same concept can be used in many projects where speed is required as a feedback for the control algorithms. For code and circuit of this video, you can visit the link in the description box. For more Arduino tutorials and projects, subscribe and follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching. I'll be back in the next video.